What's up, guys? In today's video, I'll be telling you how to beat The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom step by step. So, let's do it. I, But I can't do it in-game because I do not have my Nintendo. So, we're going to have to be doing it uh, Nintendo-less. So first, you're going to have to get off the Great Sky Island. But you're, so there will be three shrines. Then the fourth one will spawn back at the shrine. Uh, the Temple of Time. Ugh, sorry, I forget the name. And that shrine will be for... A power, that power, it's called a ruin. Uh, it, it makes things pause just for a certain amount of time. The other three are, ugh. the other three are Ultra Hand, Fuse, Uh, I forget the other one sec. Okay, you'll find out what the other one is, I forget. Then you'll have to go to the Temple of Time. Uh, and you will give Zelda your uh, decayed Master Sword. She's going to take it and vanish. Then it will allow you to jump into a pond down at the surface. Of Hyrule. You will land in a pond in Hyrule Field. Then you will have to grab a, a tree branch, which should be to the right, left, and behind of you. I don't know about forwards. You will see a big boko. That is called a boss boko. It has significant, significant, bleh, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Significantly more health than a normal boko. It should be red. There should be around four bokos behind it. And. It will be very large. And then you, as if, ugh, as soon as you see it, go farther from it, you'll, you should see a skull just head right from the boko, I'm pretty sure. If you're on the right of the big boko, then you're going to want to keep going right, I'm pretty sure. Then there will be a big school. It's called an enemy camp. There will be bokos. Uh, there will be like one blue and five red. The blue boko has a little bit more than the red boko in HP. Uh, and there should be a spear at the enemy camp. And you will have to pick that up, but you'll see one of the enemies holding it. So guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to kill it. 
But it's fine because it's really just a bad guy. So don't be frightened. Uh, then you're going to have to pick up the spear. Now, once you pick up the spear, go to your inventory. And there should be an icon with an apple. And you're going to have to scroll over to that. Then you'll see there's something on every one of your items called Fuse Power. Now, the one with your best or highest fuse power, you should save that. But second or third, you can use that. Fuse it to that spear. So you drop the item on the ground. Uh, then, uh, then you go out of the inventory. What you already are, sorry. Then, uh, you, wait, then you, uh, scroll over to the fuse ability. Uh, then you, if you're, what you're on Nintendo, you press the left bumper. Then you'll press, I'm uh, pretty sure X, and it'll fuse it to your spear, which you're, you're probably going to have your spear equipped. Do not, whatsoever, do not do any damage to an enemy with it. Uh, then go back to the boss, Boko. And then you're going to want to kill it. It should drop a boss Bacoblin horn. Then you're going to want to kill the little minions behind it, which is a Boko, for short. The real name's a Bocoblin. Then you're, want, you're going to want to go over a lookout landing. Because that's where you're going to get your first lookout tower. But on your way, make sure to cut some grass. And if get any insects from that. Then make sure to catch them. Then once you're over at lookout landing... Uh, you're going to go over and talk to Pira. She's going to tell you about the tower. She's going to activate it. Don't, like, as soon as you jump out of the tower, just go right back to lookout landing. Uh, cook four bugs. Uh... Four bugs and one monster part. So you know how you killed the Bokos earlier? It should have dropped a Boko horn. You should put one in the pot. Uh, sorry, you have to cook it in a pot. Uh, I, actually I would put two or three, uh, three restless crickets. Then one Boko horn, do that twice. Then, oh, yeah. Then go over to the. Then you have to go over to the launch tower, the lookout tower. Uh, and you have to go over to Hyrule Castle. It is the floating castle in the middle. You're going to have to slowly make your way to the dungeon or the middle room in the castle. They will both have good loot. The middle room will have uh, one 
uh, Royal Guards Claymore, one Royal Claymore, uh, one Royal Guards Bow, ten Arrows, one Royal Guards Spear, and the Dungeon, I don't even know how much loot, that's how much loot there is, but there is many more enemies in the Dungeon. There's zero enemies in the middle room of the castle. Zero. But there's like 10 in the dungeon. First part, I'm pretty sure. Uh, then you're going to want to go over and get the Sage Tulin. It will pop up in your quests. Then you're going to want to do Varuda. Then Varudinia. Then Vonaboris. These are from the first game, but it's just where, it's just in my heart that I remember them. They were so fun to do. But it's actually, uh, top left, uh, right middle, Top right, then bottom left. Bottom left is the hardest. It's very hard. And then you're going to want to go to get Minoru. It will be in the depths. Before all that, though, before you get the five sages... You're going to want to go in the depths. It's much harder enemies. But it's much better loot. The enemies, if they hit you, they will uh dark they will dark out your heart, which means that you cannot heal it. But once you go back to the flat rounds, that's just what I'm going to call it. Uh, then the heart gets back to light. But you're still going to have to use uh, food to heal it. Like a normal enemy. There's a certain food that you can use to heal gloom hearts. Uh, they, the food is hard to make. Uh... I don't even remember the ingredients because I haven't played in a while. But uh, I guess you're just going to have to watch another tutorial. So, once you're out, of, then you're going to do what I just said before all this. The five sages. Then there will be a boss in the middle room of Hyrule Castle where you got all the loot. It it just spawned as soon as you got Minoru's quest done. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it going into Hyrule Castle. Then, after you beat him, uh, the Gloom Ganon. I forget the names, I'm so sorry. Then, uh, you're going to have to go back into the depths of Hyrule Castle. It's, uh, it's literally in the depths. It will be right under Hyrule Castle. Then, as soon as you get to the very middle, uh, there will be... Uh, the final boss, Ganondorf, there is four phases. Phase one, normal. Phase two, angry. Phase three, uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, phase three. Oh, phase three is the gloom form. Phase four is the dragon. So, that's a whole walkthrough through Tears of the Kingdom. Then after you beat the game, you can just kind of 
farm to kill some bosses, mini bosses like the Lionel, the Henox. Uh, you can do some quests. And that's all that I have for this video. I'll be making one in I'll be making one right after this video while it's uploading. Okay, peace guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and go and watch some more videos. I'll be making another channel soon. Bye!